Hello, this is Alan with Satachi, and uh, today I'm going to be talking to you about our powerful little networking tool, the Wireless Mini Router. The Wireless Mini Router has uh, five different modes so that it can fill a variety of needs in your network. We designed it to be really small and portable so that you can easily put it in a uh, purse, luggage, a briefcase. Uh, basically, the idea is to have something small enough so that you could have a wireless internet connection uh, almost anywhere that you are. So the five different modes of the mini router include router mode. You can use the mini router as the main router in your network at your home or office. Just plug an ethernet cable from the mini router to your modem and uh, you can have it uh, broadcast your main network. You can also use it as an access point. Uh, some hotels and other areas uh, only have a wired connection available, just a, an Ethernet port. Uh, you can plug an Ethernet cable from uh, the mini router into the wall or wherever the Ethernet port is, uh, make that connection, and then have the mini router broadcast a wireless network that is accessible by all your devices. That's access point mode. Uh, the wireless mini router also has repeater mode. What this does is it takes an existing low strength wireless signal and uh, repeats it. It boosts the signal and effectively increases the range of your wireless network. So say you had uh, an internet router in your office, but you have a low signal strength in your living room. You can use the mini router uh, to, uh, you can place the mini router in your living room, have it pick up that weak signal and rebroadcast it as a stronger signal so that you can have a greater effective range of your uh, wireless network throughout your home, office, what have you. Uh, the next mode is called bridge mode. You can use the mini router to take an existing network and broadcast it under a new name. This might be useful, say you owned Joe's Coffee Shop. You could have Joe's Coffee Shop employee network uh, that's ex accessible uh, exclusively by your employees but you can also use the mini router to broadcast a new network, maybe called Joe's Coffee uh, for customers, and then your customers could log on to that network. The last mode that the mini router features is called client mode. Some devices like video game consoles, smart TVs only have an ethernet port, but uh, don't have wireless capabilities. What the mini router can do is plug an ethernet port from the mini router to your device and have the mini router act as a wireless adapter uh, so that you can use those devices wirelessly, uh, only wired to the mini router. So some of the other features that the mini router has, on the bottom here it has two LAN Ethernet ports and one of those ports can also be used as a WAN port. Uh, the mini router uses the latest uh, wireless standard of 802.11n but it's also backwards compatible with 802.11b and g. The mini router also features a WPS button. This is for Wi-Fi protected setup. It's uh, a way of using uh, a certain encryption method with compatible devices. Uh, with other devices that support WPS, all you have to do to connect to the mini router is press this button then press the button on your device and it'll instantly uh, form this secure wireless connection without you having to memorize any passwords. Uh, the encryption method that it uses is WPA2, which is even more secure than a uh, WEP encryption. So now I'll demonstrate how to set up the router in a, a couple of different modes. I'll show you how to use router and repeater mode. So uh, when you first plug in the mini router, it will start to broadcast a uh, network called Wireless N. So I'm going to go into the computer here and connect to that network. You can see Wireless N here in my network list. Once it connects, uh, you uh, can access the settings to the wireless mini router by opening your preferred internet browser. I'll use uh, Google Chrome here. Next, you will have to type in uh, the IP of the wireless mini router. These steps are also detailed in the instruction manual, so all this information can be found there as well. Uh, but you will need to go to 
0.9216.168.10.253. And it will ask you for a username and password. You can customize this later, but out of the box, these two are both admin. A D M I N. A D M I N. Okay, and then it will take you to the settings page. So to quickly set up the mini router in any one of its modes, you'll just come over here to the sidebar and click wizard. You can see it has AP, router, repeater, bridge, and client, the modes we went over earlier. Uh, so let's say we wanted to use this uh, mini router as the main router for our home network. Let's say we had a modem right here. We could plug one end of this ethernet cable into the modem and the other end into the mini router. And then we would hit next here. And then it would ask us to choose a, an SSID, which is the name of your network, how it will display in your uh, wireless list. So we might just name it uh, test network. You can pick uh, what channel you would like the network to be on, and you can also pick what security mode. Uh, it has WPA, WPA2, uh, and a mixed mode, but for now we'll just leave it blank. And then all you have to do is click Save and re Reboot. It will uh, reboot the wireless mini router. And once it's uh, done, and it starts broadcasting again, it will be broadcasting under that new name uh, for the network we just created. We can see it right here, test network. We can click it and connect to it. And there we go, we're all set up. So now I will uh, reset the settings and show you how to set up the mini router in repeater mode. Okay, so I've just reset the wireless mini router and uh, now we're going to go through the same setup process, but this time set the mini router up in repeater mode rather than router mode. So the start to the process is the same. Make sure that you're connected to that wireless N network and double click Google Chrome. Go to 192.168.10.253 and then you will navigate to the wizard tab on the sidebar. Select repeater mode, then click next. The wireless mini router will uh, scan for available networks and you will be able to select your network from the list and uh, use the mini router to rebroadcast it with a stronger signal. So let's select our Satachi network and then it will ask you to put in any security keys that you have. And then just click Save and Reboot. And the wireless mini router will uh, save your preferences and reboot, uh, rebroadcasting that same uh, network signal. Uh, as a stronger signal, so if you have this in your living room, the example from earlier, you will now be able to uh, receive a stronger signal in the living room being generated by the mini router. So the repeater is just one of those five modes, access point, router, repeater, bridge, and client. Uh, we really feel that the mini router uh, addresses a lot of uh, functions uh, throughout any kind of network and can fill a lot of different gaps. We really like that the mini router is so small and portable that you can uh, bring it on your travels, just take it around uh, the home or office, and really use it to set up a wireless network almost anywhere that you are. The wireless mini router is available on satachi.net. Uh, we encourage you to like our Facebook page, keep posted for news, uh, events, sweepstakes, and uh, new products. And uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching. We hope you like the wireless mini router by Satachi.